So many of our listeners, uh, mm. not just tonight, uh, I've heard from listeners time and time again, uh, people who are working hard, trying to make ends meet, who are yep. worried they're losing sleep now over their yes. energy bills. They see what's coming and they're looking at these two candidates in the leadership election and they're not hearing in detail uh, how they'll be helped. Why is that, do you think? Well, first of all, it's important two things. Number one, uh, you need to keep the economy growing. Right now, under the existing forecasts, uh, it, the economy is going to go into recession. <clears throat> and I have to tell you, an economy in a recession is an utter economic disaster, a human disaster. People will lose their jobs, lose their income. So that will make it even worse. So number one, we need to keep it gr growing and you need to reduce the burden of taxation for that. Secondly, that it is necessary to look again at what's happening uh, with the cost of living and particularly after we get to the point uh, where the price cap changes and that's late in August <clears throat> um, and that's a couple of few days before the leadership uh, election reaches its conclusion. Uh, we know today that the Treasury has made it very clear that the government is looking at all the options uh, based on what they believe to be the figures and the requirements. And then I think whoever is elected prime minister will then very quickly, uh, after all, Liz Truss, who I support, has already said she'll do an emergency budget within the first few days. And if necessary, where that's required, that will include elements uh, of packages of support directly aimed at those who need it most. And that's the key thing. Mm. So p people need to understand the government has already put out a package of 15 billion. Before that, it was about 7 billion. Uh, that is still going out at the moment. That hasn't reached people yet. It's still going through. I think October is when they all start to get all right. their 400 all right. pounds. And then on top of that, any extra requirements needed will be dealt with immediately on arrival in government and very quickly legislated. Well, there are a number of points there. First of all, the £400 yeah. pounds that everyone gets and the £1,200 pounds the poorest get, uh, we know for the figures forecast uh, for January, mm. will be more than wiped out. So that doesn't touch the sides. Um, growing the economy, of course, it's vital for all of us. Uh, you talk about a, a human disaster. The truth is there is a human disaster happening now because people cannot pay their bills. We have a new survey today uh, people are, uh, thousands of people are more than £200 in arrears with the energy company now before autumn and the cold winter hits. Uh, people are talking about a social catastrophe. Mm -hmm. Martin Lewis, very much expert in this field, is calling on uh, your party in government to take action now. And what is widely perceived to be inaction, and I think you've just conceded, we're not going to get any detail from Liz Truss until after she wins. Um, I suggest to you it's really not good enough? Well, I don't agree with you, Eddie, I'm afraid. First of all, yes, there is a significant problem facing uh, key people, uh, most in society, but very much those who have difficulty. I set up Universal Credit. Universal Credit is designed to make sure we understand it's not which going to the help households... Them. It's not going to help well, them enough. Eddie, just let me finish. Let me finish. I'm, no, no, I'm not going to let you say no, no, Universal no, let Credit. Me finish, it's not Eddie, enough. Because I need to explain to you what's going on. I'll tell you what's but I know what's going on. I hear what's it every day from my when, listeners. No, let me tell you. What's enough is when the government makes sure that those who need it most get the money. Well, they're not the getting enough problem, money. What no, are you going to do the, to help the key them? Problem, the government's just put 15 billion, which Not is enough. still rolling out. Not enough. <clears throat> they, oh, look, here's the key. You need to know what you're doing. You need to know where yes. that money is going. Government can't just go, wham, we're going to chuck money out. Who's really? it going to? Which are the ones that can do it? And how do you legislate to get that done so that all of that happens? You can do that very quickly, but you need to make sure, as the government is right now doing, working out who are the at-risk families, where that money should go, how will you get it to them quickly? Right. As soon as that is worked out... So you don't, know, you don't know the answer to those basic questions? You don't well, know the you answer. You don't know the answer to that basic question because you are not able to see every single family's needs. Government has but to make sure they know where But you're in government. It's your job, for God's sake. Well, that's what they are doing. They're working out but on they the back don't of know. the 15... This Eddie, has been coming the down the pike of, for months. I'm sorry. At the back of the 15 billion that the government has put out already, which is still rolling out. It's you not want good to enough. Make this, if you want to make this a shouting match, we're not going to get anywhere. Here's the point. <clears throat> right now, you need to make sure you know which of the families most in need. Why don't you And know? how do you get the money to them quickly? Because that is the process that is being worked out right now by government. So what they said today is we are looking at all of the aspects of what's going out, what's needed, and who needs it most. What they should be reassured is the key principle and p moment of this, the peak of this, is in December, January. We need to get this sorted by September, and that is exactly what the government is going to do, whoever leads it. So the key thing is 
you deal with the problem by understanding how you resolve it. First and foremost, how you get the money to people if it's needed by them and when it goes out. That's it, all if critical. It's, if it's needed Just by making them. announcements like that and not doing anything about it <clears throat> doesn't help anybody at all. You need to know specifically how you're going to do it to reassure people, to make sure they can receive mm -hmm. that money as quickly as possible. The mechanisms are there, but you need to understand who are the ones that need it most of all and to make sure that money's targeted at them. I don't want to do any more broad brush payments to people who don't need it, like you. I want to make sure all of the money, and myself, by the way, all of the money goes focused on those who are most in need. Yeah. And we need to work that through. And your candidate, so your candidate has a, to the wrong people. Your candidate has a problem with uh, taking money from people <clears throat> in tax and then giving it back to them. Uh, I have to say... I'm very happy for you to take more of my taxes and mm. give it to these people who need it most. What's wrong with that? Well, let's take a pace back. What does high tax that we have right now do? It's predicted at the moment for the economy to go into a recession. We have to avoid a recession at all costs. Lowering the burden of taxation is part of that help that will help all people in the economy because if we go into recession, people lose their jobs. They will not be able to pay their bills. That makes the cost of living crisis they, they, even they already, worse. They already can't so, pay their no, bills. No, no, That's the point of the interview. I'm talking about why we don't need to go into recession. By lowering the burden of taxation, you can avoid us being in recession and you can target help to those who need it most on the cost of living crisis. All right. That is the sensible way to do it. Not just making grandiose <coughs> statements about what you're going to do. We need to target the help and make sure the economy grows. It's not absolute the economy will go into recession, but we must avoid that at all costs. All right. That is why we need to lower taxation. Good to see you. As always, thank you. Serene Duncan-Smith, Conservative MP for Chingford and Woodford Green, supporter of Liz Truss.